Well, this is really to explain the process of what we call manualizing. And the manual that we use in Ambit and in Tiddly manuals in general is what we call a wiki. And a wiki is just a collection of web pages around a common theme. And in particular, what makes it a wiki is that it can be edited by users. Now, we don't allow free editing by any one at all. It, it would have to be members of the team that have editorial rights. But let me show you how this happens. So when you go onto a website, for instance, the estimable ambit.tiddlyspace.com website, what you see is what we call the core content, which is everything that makes up the current version of what Ambit is. Now, in fact, Ambit is made up of a whole lot of bits and pieces, which are actually stored in another wiki, or we call them a space, and are included in the same way that uh, an amoeba, say, includes and swallows the materials uh, that it, it uh, gobbles up. And actually what you see in the Ambit website is the sort of accumulation of quite a lot of content, some of which does extremely boring things that nobody would want to spend any time thinking about. Um, the most important piece of um, equipment uh, that you get or, or information is the, the first of those uh, blobs, the Ambit content blob. Okay, so that's how we make our website. Um, you don't need to see all the, um, the ones running along the bottom of this page. Uh, they're hidden away and all you get is um, what you see in this one rather seamless looking website. So why do you need to know that? Well, say you come along from the Tiddletown uh, team and decide that you want to open your own version of the Ambit manual. Well, what you will do is include exactly the same content as you saw displayed in the Ambit space. And if another town comes along, they can do the same, and another one, and another, etc., etc. And at the time of recording, there's about 40 or just over 40 versions of the Ambit manual that are now in existence. Well, why don't they all just look at the same one? Well, one of the Ambit principles is this idea of um, respect for local practice and expertise. We certainly would not see Ambit as a unitary, one-size-fits-all approach for the kinds of complex, culturally diverse young people that um, Ambit is designed for. So what happens in these local versions is what we call manualizing. Manualizing is just writing about the things that we do in ways that would help other people to do them or indeed to remind us to do them in the same way that hopefully have some effectiveness. So a local team can write its own pages in its own manual and that allows it to begin to document its own thinking and to attune and adjust and improve the version that they've inherited from the Ambit uh, project. Because some of the pages that we write will not be effective for a local team. Now, the next part of what this amazing system allows us to do is what we call cloning. Because we've developed what we call a community of practice. So all of the teams that have their own versions through different bits of the manual, we call them comparing and sharing um, uh, functions in the manual, can see what other people are writing about. And a local team in, say, yet another uh, Tiddly space might find one of the pages that the uh, Tiddletown people have written about and say, Do you know, we really like that. And they might copy that into their uh, team, feeling that actually that local 
adaptation um, is actually more helpful than some of the core material that they inherited. And finally, the sort of coup de grace is that you know if a page really does clearly have value to other teams and is being cloned and adapted, then the Ambit project could copy it themselves into their Ambit content um, space, at which point it then automatically goes to everybody. So this really is the way that we use our um, manual to share best practice at light speed, really, and uh, incrementally to grow a sort of dynamic, adaptive manual to the changing situations, the changing cultural needs, and the specific needs of particular population groups that different teams